yo. Yo, yo, yo. Look at, look at, look at, look at him, look at him. I want to ask you a question. Follow me now, follow me now. I want to ask you a question. How many of you grew up in a house with sisters and brothers? Or maybe you grew up in a house with a lot of family members. But we're just going to use sisters and brothers. Sisters, brothers, a mother, and a father. We're going to use this as an analogy or uh, an example. So you grow up in this house. Many of, of us who have a lot of sisters and brothers, if you notice, many of us, we may talk loud. And the reason why you talk loud is because if you don't draw attention to yourself, if you are not heard, whatever it is that you want your parents, they may not act fast enough. They may ignore you. Even in the animal kingdom, you have baby birds wanting to get fed. They want attention from their parents. And usually, the one that's making the most noise gets, the, gets more attention. So how many of us have brothers and sisters? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, here we go. Okay, raise your hand. Now, how do you feel if your mother and your father never talk to you directly? These are your parents. If your mother never directly touch you. Your father never touch you. What they do is they send their instructions through another brother or sister. They never personally talk to you. You know that these are your parents, but they never talk to you. How would you feel? Because you, you always got to tell your sister or brother or another family member what you want, what you want to do. You never get attention from your mother or your father. How would you feel? How do you feel? Some of us have experienced this because some parents play favorites. They give their attention to the child that they like more. The one that might be going to college and you just want to flip burgers at, at McDonald's or something, something that they're not proud of. So they give more attention to the child that's more flamboyant, that can show them off rather than you. But it, that's unfair. Because parents, regardless to the, to the children, parents are supposed to treat all their babies fair and equals it's a bad feeling it's a horrible feeling to live in a house with your parents and you have no direct connection to them so why am I using this as an example why am I bringing this up I love to use very simple examples because when you use simple examples People can't say, duh, I don't understand what you're talking about. What, what are you talking about? You can't say you didn't understand. You can comprehend. I'm using this as an example because we who are called African American, we who are called Black Americans, I prefer soul brothers and sisters 
we have been in this life we have been living in America going on 500 years 500 years and God is supposed to be the parent or the parent of the human being but God has chosen to ignore maybe because we're young we're only 500 years old or whatever but God the parent has chosen to ignore us and everything we know about God everything we know about spirituality of which I would advise us that we should leave that be belief alone anyway we don't need God we don't need spirituality this is 2022 you should be able to walk and talk without a crutch because that's what it is, is a crutch it's for the sick it's for the lame it's for the insane to try to get them together you should not need a crutch we are beyond that. But even so, what we know of spirituality, what we know of in religion, it comes from a foreign source. The parent God has not taken the time and refused to give the black man and woman the African American, the so called, the once so called Negro in America, give us our own prophet, a black American, a soul brother, a soul sister, somebody that God gives one of us a revelation. And through that revelation, gives us our own book. How do you like some of us, we was in school? And we get the hand-me-downs, the books from our older brothers and sisters. Most times because we're poor. We can't, our parents couldn't afford the books. So we pass down clothes. We pass down books to the other children. But you don't like that. It's, na it's natural for you to want your own. I don't want a hand-me-down bike. I want my own bike. And these people that hand me, hand you the bike, the, 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 the bike, I, I rode that bike first. That used to be my bike. That used to be my Illinois shirt. That was mine. And that's what these people do to us because we have their hand-me-down. The Bible is a hand-me-down. It comes from a foreign place. And they tell you, wherever it came from, they tell you what it is and what it's not because it's theirs. You become an expert on somebody else's crap. Islam was not revealed to the once called Negro in America. We didn't even exist. We were sold. We were forced. The Bible. We was forced. The Quran. These things we were forced. We were sold. These things. Hand-me-downs. Leftovers from other people. So if God is the parent. What kind of parent? I question a parent that is all powerful, all knowing, and got it going on like that. He's not poor. Why do we have to have hand me downs and leftovers from foreign sources? Without translation, you can't even read the Bible. Without translation, you can't read 
the Quran. Can't even read the stuff. Somebody has to put it into English so that you you know because it wasn't meant for you. American history books are written in English because they were meant for those who can speak English. They were meant for us to read American history books. The Quran is Arabic. You do not, we do not know Arabic. It was not meant for us. These were instructions and rules to another people. So God should give us our own prophet, our own book in relation to our unique circumstance, who and what we are. No middleman. Then you say that a black American should have a black, should not have white Jesus on the wall. But here you are putting all these images from foreign places. These gods are not us. We have no connection to nobody in, in the Bible. We have no connection to nobody in the Quran or any of these other religious belief systems. We have nothing to do with. We get other people's head me down. You mean to tell me, again, I suggest to us leave the God spirituality stuff alone. It's bogus, it's fake, it's hallucinations, it's delusions, it's fairy tale. But if you need to believe in God, and God is all powerful and the Father, then that God should give us our own. I want my own. I don't want no middleman. I don't want nobody from Mecca come on a ship and come and tell me about my life and what I need to do. Some middleman. I want my own. You should not want hand-me-downs and leftovers from other people. And then they tell you, that's mine. That came from me. You don't speak Greek. You don't speak these languages in the Bible. You don't know these people. You have no connection. You don't know nobody in Mecca, Arabia. Or wherever these spiritual systems, Buddha, Buddha or Buddhist, or whatever these belief systems, that's not you. You, if in an ordinary family, you would go to your mother and you would go to your father. Hey, what's up with the, with the hand-me-downs? I'm tired of wearing my big brother's shoes and clothes and even my sister's old books from school. I want my own. And when we become adults ourselves, we don't want, we don't want, we can inherit, but we really, we want our own. Because we want to live under our own rules. We want to do our own thing. We want to do that. Our own thing. Even though we love our mother, we love our father, and what they have is nice. Daddy has a nice car. Mama have a nice car or, or whatever. I want my own. So how can you get angry at, at Angel Snuff Number Seven when I come here and I demand and I challenge God if God exists? Give soul brothers and sisters our own. And I will even dare to say that maybe he has began to answer the prayer and I am that prophet to bring us what we need. Jot down your comment. Let's talk about it.